San Bonani, Molueni, Potan, Dumelang, Tobel. Abshing. Ah. E San Potis a bit Oh, my hair. My hair just won't rest, eh? Um, how are you guys, Ninja and Betunan? Um, yeah, I've decided the flu is still there, but I'm like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this flu. I'm gonna come to my people. Raining or not? <laughs> yeah, I am, Betunan. I'm gonna find you and take it slowly. Yeah, it's a chance, yes. Um, it's been a windy week. Um, the whole of um, the yeah the past week, the past few days, uh, have been quite windy, especially for us in Alice. I'm not sure about other areas. Um, so we've been indoors for the past four to five days. So today, you know, the weather is clear, the sun is out. I decided I'm taking it outside. So situation is situation, guys. Here I am. Umam Unungwenkwe is giving it to you once again. Um, today, um, without fail, trying to wasting any more time. Um, further ado, Uchumlung. Uh, the topic for today, I want us to start thinking about how we identify um our ancestors or spirits um that have entered us or that are working through us, or that are working with us. It depends how you want to put it, but um, the, the point of the discussion today is how do we identify um, them in terms of... Um, I've, 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 I've listed quite a few points here that will help, you know, me um, direct the conversation. Um, how do we identify them in terms of gender? For example, um, in terms of um, the kind of people they were during their lifetime, um, and also those that want to relive, um, you know, their lives, their past lives through us today. Let me start. Let's start um, with the gender part. Né? How do we identify the gender of our um, ancestral spirits? I don't have all the answers, eh? But through my own experience and own research as well, I've gotten to learn um, to identify my own ancestors as well as um, when I do readings for different people, you know, when people are consulting with me once in a while, um, the ancestors would reveal, we understand who they are. And then I will also be able to see through the person, we understand um, what type of ancestors um, they have through, in, in, I mean, in terms of gender. Let's talk about me. You understand? I always, I'm like using myself as an example. In my case, I know for a fact that um, amongst the many ancestors and spirits um, that are with me, the leading ones are definitely male. So they're definitely masculine. Hey, when? My pair. You know what's funny? She, he is trying to speak. He can't even talk. So he yes, I'm sure he thinks I'm speaking a funny language, and he thinks like I can do that too. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, in terms of gender, like I I know a majority of my ancestral spirits that work with me are male and therefore masculine. I'm not saying all of them are male. I know Bakona no koko, um ukonu koko pete. Um, she's definitely female, but the leading ones, those that are leading the pack, are male and masculine. And I usually say, um, share this with my clients. For example, with me, um, I have more male friends than female friends. I get along more or better more with males than with females. Um, I, a, a lot of people, even here at home, my family, they think I'm a very strong person and as such, they don't expect me to break down. They don't expect me to drop the ball. You understand? I'm not expected to cry. I'm not expected to feel. You understand? Um, um, people think I'm strong. 
like my own mother thinks I'm a very strong person. We understand. If there is a quarrel, we understand, between me and another person, they would rather talk to me to calm down. We understand. Um, because they always say, um, you are stronger than the other person. So um, we know we can get through to you. <laughs> we understand. And it has always bothered me. Why? You understand? Sometimes I'll be at my weakest and wish like, you know, I could just cry and break down. Wow, a butterfly. I could just cry and break down. You understand? But I don't have that luxury because people don't expect that from me. You get me? Even in relationships now, you understand? My marriage, I think... <laughs> I was, I don't know how to put it, guys, but I was the leader in my own marriage. I was the driver, you understand? If I keep quiet, nothing will happen. If I don't plan myself, if I don't make, don't make any plans myself, if I don't take decisions, you understand, nothing will happen, you understand? Um, and I've realized that, you know, even after marriage, you understand, some of the relationships I've tried, they fail because, um, you know, my partners will complain that, um, I'm too controlling, you understand? When I know I'm not controlling, it's just that they get overwhelmed, you understand, with my masculine aura, you understand? So I have this masculine energy, you understand? I can't stand things not getting done. I can't stand people not, you know, making decisions, you understand? Right or wrong, a decision has to may be made and steps have, have to be taken. That is just me. And even growing up, I was that child, you know, amongst a group of friends. I know I'm pretty, <laughs> um, you know, and I'm not even joking. Don't even think like I look at myself in the mirror and be like, you know, you are amongst the, you know, you are high up there when it, <laughs> when we're talking pretty, you are high up there and I, I truly believe that deep down in my heart. It's not even something that um, Kubone, uh, like, and is consoling. No, 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 no. I'm pretty. And I grew up believing that. Amongst my friends, we would be a group walking to the shops. You understand? Um, all of the girls, you know, would be, you know, targeted, you understand, by the male species, except me. You know? I was that child, you know, boys are just scared of me. Um, um, they would say I command a lot of respect. You know, I was told at the age of like 14, I'm like, I'm a boyfriend. I'm a boyfriend. I'm a boyfriend. To this age, you understand, um, men are scared to approach me like that, you know, um, and I've gotten used to it, you get me. So there is just one other way I can I can share with you. So maybe you can see that now we, we understand. Um, um, so we are strong. You may be female, but you are strong. You can, you know, you can stand your ground, you know. Um, you're not a coward even to make decisions like um, 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 having an abortion. You understand? Most people that have abortions, they, you'll find that they have masculine energy more than um, feminine energy. They take, it's easy, you know, and quick for them to make decisions. You understand? Uh, so let's um, go past the gender part. Um, in terms of now, let's look at the ancestral spirits in terms of how they lived life during their lifetime. Some of them, for example, Babi Mdaka. When I'm saying Mdaka, I, I don't mean in the sense of not washing. I mean their hearts, you understand? Um, Babi Loya, Babi Tagata, you know? Um, committing acts of witchcraft, for example, you understand? Um, others committed suicide, you understand? Because they couldn't stand competition, for example. They couldn't stand being... Um, when your sister is doing better than you and you just can't stand it, when life, you know, um, is, you know, um, not 
things are not going well for you, you just can't stand it and you'd rather not be there because people will laugh at you, you understand? Um, some, you know, that I'm not saying that everyone that commits suicide, it is because they can't stand com com competition. Sometimes it's a mental illness, but sometimes it is pure narcissist, like being narcissism, being a narcissist, you understand? Um, always wanting to be on top, always wanting to be better than the next person. You get me? Um, um, so there are ancestral spirits that committed suicide, for example, took their own lives, you know, based purely on on that. It's a weakness um, that people don't realize it can get you into trouble. Abanye babe twele, we understand. Others killed, we understand. Killed to get what they want. You get me? And you can be entered by such spirits. I always say, I always try to emphasize, not all the spirits that enter us are good spirits. Sometimes we are, um, you know, we work with people that, you know, when they used to walk this life, they, you know, they were not necessarily good people. And the examples I've given you, we understand and how do you identify that in you we understand if you have such ancestral spirits you must it, it, it's a matter of knowing which when for example when you are in a feud we understand with either a friend a family member um we understand um be be mindful of the words that come out of your mouth you understand also look check into your emotions you understand um don't be that person that that can't say sorry we understand if you have been if you are the one that's on uh, on the wrong um side you understand um because then otherwise you 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 are giving power you understand to the spirits that entered you that are like not necessarily good spirits you understand um if you give them a gap they will take over your life we understand um um such that when you have a problem with someone you'll just want to go to inyanga and just get rid of them you understand we all have that we all have that you know um within us um we are capable we understand but it's a choice that you make. It's a choice. You can't say, we can't say, no. One day, it's really wrong. One day, it's a lawyer. No, it's a choice that you make. And then lastly, those that try to relive through a, 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 a person, we understand. Um, in terms of now, for example, um, you know, I, I, I was talking to a client the other day, probably last week, ne? and he was telling me um, that he's a transgender, you understand? And I was excited and curious because I've never spoken to a transgender before, you get me? Um, um, but I was like, wow, you understand? I, I just love the work that I do. You get to meet different types of people, you understand? And you know, learn life from their own perspective instead of me making um, in, 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 in terms of um, um, where was I? They are disturbing me now. Um, anyway, let's get past that. I was saying, so we had a discussion with this guy that she was born, he, he, was born female he was born a girl you understand but he knew at a very like young age you know whilst a, still a toddler he could see he could feel that he was a boy you understand um it's a matter of you know <laughs> being in the wrong body basically um and fortunately his family you understand um could see that as well and therefore they helped him you understand, um, um, you know, go through the, the tra transgender process. And, um, for example, some of my, my spiritual father, you understand, is actually um, gay, you understand, and I don't have a problem with, with gay people. I, you know, and 
as soon as people become spiritual, as soon as people, most people, some people, not, 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 let me not say most, some people, when, when they choose to accept their calling, we understand, um, for some strange reason, I think they then get into, in touch with who they are emotionally and, in, you know, internally, you understand, Hence, you find people changing, you understand? We would know them as straight, you understand, um, before answering um, their calling. And then all of a sudden, you, 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 you find that, oh, I'm sorry and so realizes good they are gay, you understand? And I know the ancestors that want to relive, you understand? Like, you'd find that your, your granny, you understand? Of course, she was female when she was still alive. And now she wants um, to give you, you understand? Hand over the gift to you and you being male, you understand? And as such, they dominate, you understand? They, they, she will then, you know, want to dominate your life. And as such, you then change, basically, you understand? And, and also feel like you are female, you understand? And rather live life as a female than as a male, you understand? So those are all the things that I say um, are possible with spirit, you understand? So some of us um, are, are, are masculine, and I could have chosen to be lesbian, for example, but I just don't feel that way. No, I just love men. I love a man, a good man. <laughs> I don't have a problem with females that love other females. Um, I don't think um, there's anything wrong with that. You understand? We all have the freedom to, you understand, um, live life the way, you understand, the way you see it fit. You understand? The way that it is, that is true. 